Yay! You know, I sit in a unique position as an expert in field theory and a guy that knows a crap lot about photography to talk about the nuance that confuses the hell out of everybody. And people will state, and not just talking about people on YouTube, of which there are plenty of those, that use the words more light and total light. You've heard it before, and I've heard it before. But there's no such thing as more light as it relates to an image in photography. Let me explain that very quickly here briefly. Now let's first start off by stating a fact that the one thing that nobody really understands is light. When someone says more light, yeah, what are they talking about? Well, when it comes to photography, we're talking about exposure. All exposure, when it's, we're talking about digital photography here, is gain and time and SNR. SNR is sensor level, signal to noise ratio. Time, of course, is shutter speed. Gain, the aperture. How wide is the aperture? How uh, closed down is the aperture? So when we say more light, because when we say more light, the word light, and here's the big secret that nobody seems to get, and this is why everybody's confused. Larger sensors, you've heard this, and so have I. You've heard this a million, million times. More larger sensors gather more light, or they have more total light. Let's just repeat those again, because you've heard it so many times. More light and total light. Total light and more light. The term light refers to one thing, right? Light. Like if you have a larger picture window, yeah? Yeah, it's letting in more light, right? So a larger picture window lets in more light. But the term light is in reference to one thing, yeah? Well, a larger picture window is letting in more light. But we could also say that a picture window that's like a hundred times smaller, like a peephole, for example, yeah? You're looking out through, uh, you know, a tiny little window about that size. If you stick your eye up against it, you know, there's, there's no difference in the image. More light is only relational to, please listen up, especially fellow YouTubers that keep telling people larger sensors gather more light, which is total bonk and nonsense. More light refers to one thing and one thing only. It does not refer to an image taken or captured. It refers to exposure. More light refers to exposure. More time, more gain from the aperture, or better SNR, better signal to noise ratio. Kind of like, you know, when you're driving in your car and you got a radio station on and you're like really, really far away, you know, the gain that you're getting, you know, the station starts to crackle, yeah, starts to get noisy sounding, yeah. It's kind of like when you crank up, because ISO has no connection to exposure in digital photography, none. You dial up that exposure. It's like, well, yeah, I can take pictures in lower light, but the image is grainy. It's grainy. The wonderful part about that is, is that noise has known frequencies. And uh, the Chipworks people can actually dial out a lot of that uh, high ISO, low light noise because noise has frequencies. What it does is it just dials out those frequencies. But that's a matter for another discussion. So, More light has no connection to an image. Larger sensors don't gather more light. You know why? Because every sensor on Earth doesn't care about how big the diagonal is. Because, yeah, you know, this bright little red spot has no connection to this dark little orange spot over here. And this great, there's not much color in this, this uh, fireplace on my screen. None of these points doesn't give a damn about any of the other points on here. More light has no connection to a final image. Light is just such a confusing word to people, but they're using light as a singular. Yeah? More light only refers to exposure. Larger sensors don't gather more light. They, they don't. Now, this is where people will ignorantly and unintelligently make reference to a solar panel. I got a lot of solar panels, but they're not laying around here. Solar panels only generate one thing, power. A larger solar panel will generate more power. You could also charge your battery quicker with a larger solar panel. But that's one thing. No digital camera on Earth ever made yeah, generates one thing. None of them do. Let's repeat that. No digital camera on Earth generates one thing. What they do, and that's the only thing you're interested in and I'm interested in, is when we take a picture and we look at it, kind of like this boring picture right here, they generate millions and millions and millions and millions of different colors of light, of different intensities, at specific XY coordinate locations. Yeah? More light. Light being a singular term here. Light. Even though it's not. There's no such thing as a single light. 
No one has ever in the English language ever made reference to a single light. Let's not talk about a photon here, okay, which is an arbitrary abstraction. There's no such thing as a single light, but people say light, it just means one thing. Yeah? Kind of like I'm fat. I'm fat is one thing, but my me being fat means that I have X number of pounds of which I'm overweight, right? It'd be one thing. No camera has any connect. More light and total light. These are the words, and you know, the devil is in the details, but everybody keeps saying these words. I'd rather have a full frame sensor camera because it gathers more light, or they'll say total light. But these are not applicable to any image ever generated in digital photography. Light this is a confusing word. People use it in a singular fashion, but there's no such thing as a singular light. No, no camera records more light. It records more exposure or not enough exposure. Yeah, yeah, right. But the exposure over here still hasn't got a damn thing to do with the exposure over here. Yeah, this color and intensity of light doesn't have a damn thing to do with this color and intensity of light doesn't have a damn thing to do with it. More sensors do not gather more light. More sensors don't gather more total light. If they did, which they don't, then light meters would have an input for sensor size. And they don't. And I got like a lot of light meters, including the best that money can buy. Yes siree. There's no such, yeah. Please stop using the word more light. Yeah, larger sensors gather more light. No, it's, you know, more time or a wider aperture. That is more light. That's exposure. Oh. What really confuses people is that it used to be the case, and it's not so much anymore, that larger sensors had bigger eyeballs on them. Yeah, larger photo sites. Yeah. Kind of like a hoot owl can like see a mouse and near total dark. Like you can't see crap, but the, the large owls have got these big ass eyeballs and it can see that little mouse scurrying and it like flies down and swoops and gets it. And basically near total darkness. Yeah. Larger sensors used to have, they still do, depending on the camera, larger eyeballs. That's SNR, yeah? Per unit of time, per identical unit of time, and per identical aperture at same distance, yada, 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 the, uh, the camera with the larger eyeballs will gather better light. It will gather more light. It will have a better exposure. It will also have better dynamic range because the photo sites don't clip out so quickly. Per unit of time, larger photo sites don't clip the highlights as soon. There's a lot of other factors like SNR firmware and sensor architecture, whether it be a conventional sensor or a backside illuminated sensor. That's the reason why, here's a perfect frigging example. This camera, you know, this modern X-T4 right here, <clears throat> with its smaller sensor, has way better low light capability and does a better job in low light, high ISO, or even just low light than does the large sensor found on the Nikon D4, which I got two of them. I've owned many of them. That, that camera has got big eyeballs on it. Big, huge eyeballs. Yeah, and it's a bigger sensor. But you know which one performs better in low light, high ISO, for everything? It's this one. Yeah, because it's not... It's got, a, it's got a much smaller uh, pixel pitch, got smaller eyeballs on it, but it's a completely different sensor architecture. It's way improved. This is much newer technology. Obviously so. Nikon D4 has been around for a long time. So, <clears throat> if any idiot tells you, well, larger sensors gather more light, you say, well, if that were the case, then the larger sensor, it's just one example of many, then the larger sensor of the Nikon D4 for same lens, for same shutter speed, yada yada, would gather more light, you know. And it doesn't. It does less. Because it's an older, much more, even though the camera is awesome, it's an older, much more inefficient design on the sensor technology. Sensor, the photo sites are a lot larger, but they're also much less efficient. Yeah, this is a completely different sensor architecture. It's got better SNR firmware. It's got better everything for image processing. A camera is not just a sensor. 
So all this pooey, poppycock, nonsense, BS, bullocks, hogwash, twaddle, fiddle faddle, pooey about more light and total light is bonk. It's not my opinion that that's the case. It's a fact that that's the case. Mic drop. I rest my case. Uh, thank you so much. Peace out, Girl Scout.